All right, so I am back on my wordpress.com site, uh, just on the home page, but I am logged in. Um, and so what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm going to show you how to add a menu item um, that is um, basically a category link um, so that it shows all of the posts from a particular category. So if you see, for instance, um, along here, uh, this little tab that says my teacher profile, this is a page. Um, so if I click on it, uh, you'll see the address just is wordpress.com and then slash whatever the page is called. So this thing is, um, uh, the, a page is kind of for static content. Um, and so I can use it to showcase particular things such as a teaching philosophy. But sometimes what I would rather do is I'd like to have something that looks like a page um, so that it's a menu item like this, but it actually just is a collection of all of the blogs for a particular category. So for instance, if I wanted to collect all of my blog posts for a particular class in um, just one tab so that you can click on it and access all of them, uh, I can do that um, using a category link. So um, I'm, I have the, the category cats here, and you can see uh, here's a post about cats. So anytime that I want to get the, um, the, the URL for a particular category, all I need to do is find a post that's in that category. And then at the bottom, it'll say this entry was posted in and whatever the category is. If I click on that, it actually gives me the category URL. So this particular URL will take me to all posts that have been categorized as cats. So I've got that category. Now, how do I turn it into a category link so it looks like a page on my menu bar? So I'm gonna go back into my, um, my admin and I'm gonna head over to the appearance section. Um, and when I go under menus, what you'll see is I actually have, um, I'm gonna just create a brand new menu. Uh, because I have one created, but we'll just create a brand new one. So basically, um, I'll call this menu two. Um, I'm going to create it. And this is going to tell me what actually shows up on that bar at the top of, um, of my website. So um, I'm going to uh, head over to this side here. And this is where I can add things into that menu. Um, now, if I go under pages um, and you see, um, you can see my most recent ones um, or you can just ask it to view all. So I can click the things that I would like to throw into um, my menu. So I click the ones I want. I click add to menu. And they add. Um, and then what I can do is actually, actually drag things around here. So let's say I'd like the letter of introduction to be under the teacher profile to be a drop down. I just pull it over um, into uh, so that it looks like like that. Um, and I can do the same thing with this. Um, so that's how the menu works. Um, but what we're going to do is actually create a category link, um, as I said before. So I'm going to head out of the pages and go into the category section. Um, and again, I could view all, but I've got the one I want. So I'm going to choose the cats category. Um, and I'm going to add that to the menu. Uh, so this is now over here. It's on its own. Um, it'll be its own little page because it's not under anything else. Um, and I'm going to set this to be the primary navigation so we can see what it looks like. Um, so the menu that you want in place, you need to have this clicked on. Now I'm going to save my menu. And once it's saved, um, I can now go and view my site. And what you'll see is um, the things that I put there on my menu are now showing up across the top. So again, these things were pages. So they show up just like a normal page menu item. But if I click on this one, this one is a category archive. So it takes all of my posts about cats and it throws them under this tab. So I don't even need to put them there, they just keep adding there. So again, this is pretty ideal if you're adding posts for a particular class. Um, and that is how you create a category link that looks like um, any other page on your menu item.